All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this is going to be a, a quick, uh, short video. And uh, Lord's willing, hopefully, Lord willing, is edifying and uplifting to the Akim. All right, those of the whole four elect. All right, serious, sincere minded brothers. All right, that been pushing hard in this truth and been enduring the great afflictions and adversities. Because um, we're truly living in a time that the Lord is visiting this earth in which he made. And we're at the very, very end of Esau's kingdom. You know, the mark of the beast is, a, is, is out and open. It's abroad. It's in your face. It's at your front door. All right. Any, any, any other man uh, that calls himself an Israelite to be an Israelite or not. Or to say that the mark of the beast is not the RFID chip. He's clearly a false prophet. All right. Unless he repents. You know. So anyway. Um, I just want to read this. And hopefully brothers. You know. Uh, it'll build you up. For the brothers in need of uh, faith. You know. That's what we're here for. Scripture say comfort one another with these words. Now this was a scripture. That the brother actually sent to me earlier and um i just decided to make it make it the scripture of the day it's a beautiful scripture all right so anyway i'm gonna read into it this is second edges 2 and 21 it says heal the broken and the weak laugh not the lame man to scorn defend the maim, and let the blind man come into the sight of my clearness keep the old and young within thy walls Wheresoever thou findest the dead, take them and bury them, and I will give thee the first place in my resurrection. Abide still, O my people, and take my rest, for thou quietness still come. Nourish thou children, O thou good nurse, establish their feet. As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thou number. All right, now here's the point. It says, Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be they, excuse me, but they shall be able to do nothing. Against thee, say of the Lord, my hand shall cover thee so that thou children shall not see hell. All right. And this is, you know, scriptures and comforting for you to have faith. All right. Because everything that uh, Akim, you know, been doing, have been doing what the Lord said to do. And that was to go out and prophesize this word. All right. Teach this word in season and out of season. All right. Enduring all the way to the end. All right. And um, now that we are at the end, the very end, you know. We have to hold fast of what we learn. Because we're truly living in a time in which the Lord is visiting this earth in which he made. All right. So this is a beautiful scripture. And I decided to make the script scripture of the day. Like I said, it's going to be short, you know, hopefully edifying and uplifting to your souls, man, to your spirit. I'm going to read it again. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. All right. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. And right now Esau truly envies the Lord's hopeful elect, the men, starting with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, that been heavenly, hardly, uh, heavenly, hardenly pushing this truth, you know, not missing a beat, stand on point, you know, like a heartbeat, you know, 
uh, pushing the word of the Lord. They envy that. All right. It goes back to Jacob and Esau. Jacob supplanted Esau of the birthright. All right. Two times. So now Esau, he revenged himself upon Jacob, even till to this day. That's how deep the rabbit hole gets. All right. Because a lot of these, you know, our people, two thirds, they claim they're woke. They claim they know this, they know that. But then they don't know anything about the scriptures. So that really tells you you don't know nothing. So anyway, it says the heathen shall envy thee, but thou shalt be able to do nothing. But they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. My hand shall cover thee so that thou children shall not see hell. And you got to believe in these scriptures because all of us is... uh coming to that time to be changed into a low state you know scriptures speak on that you know not winnowing not being too mind uh, uh double-minded you know standing firm and stiffly which which when i continue to read is going to get into that so let me continue it says verse 30 be joyful O thou mother with thy children for i will deliver thee say of the lord remember thy children that sleep for I shall bring them out of the sides of the earth and show mercy unto them. For I am merciful, saith the Lord Almighty. Embrace thou children until I come and show mercy unto them. For my wells run over, my grace shall not fail. I, Edris, receive a charge of the Lord upon the Mount Oreb that I should go unto Israel. But when I came unto them, they set me at north and despise the commandment of the Lord. And therefore I say unto you, O ye heathen, that hear and understand, look for your shepherd. He shall give you everlasting rest, for he is nigh at hand that shall come in the end of the world. You see that? So when Ezra was sent forth to Israel and they wouldn't listen, they despised this truth. That's the same as what happened now. All right. Two thirds of our people despise the word of the Lord. You despise the men of the Lord. All right. That you've seen before you on the street corners teaching about who you are as a people, who your enemies are, what prophecies were going to take take place. All right. The RFID chip is the mark of the beast. All right. And then you had those that do understand. All right. So let me read 33 again. I, I edges receive a charge of the Lord upon Mount Oreb that I should go into unto Israel. But when I came unto them, they set me at north and despising com the commandments of the Lord. And therefore, I say unto you, O ye heathen, that hear and understand, look for your shepherd. All right. Because who are these heathens? It would be the Israelites. All right. Not these other nations. All right. You have Israelites that are scattered through the four corners of the earth and if you the scriptures say he that is in trouble come rest with us all right when you you understood that that you are an israelite you understand you know the prophecies in which the prophets were speaking of edra said look for your shepherd who's the shepherd yahweh shai all right the one and only yahweh shai and trust and believe this the days that are approaching which we're approaching Jacob's trouble, the more restrictions, the more draconian laws get pulled out here. When they go and force these vaccines and force this microchip upon you, you everybody's going to be looking for that shepherd. But guess what? The Lord is only going to deliver his servants who truly believed in him, who had faith in him. All right. It says, look for the shepherd. Look for your shepherd. He shall give you everlasting rest. For he is nigh at hand that shall come in the end of the world. And we at the end of the world. The end of the world is the end of Esau's rulership. We at the end. This is the end of his, his kingdom. All right. Verse 35. Be ready to the reward of the kingdom. For the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Flee the shadow of this world. Because the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my savior openly. All right. And you can see two thirds. Just cut your YouTube on. Go through your, your wall, your feed. And you'll still see that, you know, two thirds of our people don't even understand that this is the end. They don't see it. 
All right. It's a bunch of folly. Rappers still rapping. The entertaining is still entertaining, you know, hoping that things will come back the way it was so they could get back out there and make their money from off of their commentating, you know, off of their speculating, you know, and what they do, what they do. But they're not even realizing that this is the end. All right. It says, be ready to the reward of the kingdom for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Flee the shadow of this world. Receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testified my savior openly. And that's very important because Mark 8, 38 says he that is, uh, uh, it says he that, um, ah, give me a second. He that is ashamed of me, the Lord will be ashamed of him. And I'm roughly paraphrasing that. That's Mark 8 and 38 because we testify our savior openly. We tell you who's coming back and that's your Howard Shai. Not no Jesus Christ, no Christ Jesus bless, no Jah, no Yah, no Jehovah. We tell you, Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, Oh, receive the gift that is given you and be glad, giving thanks unto him that have led you to the heavenly kingdom. All right. Giving thanks on always to who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And also double honors to the apostles who taught you this word. All right. Verse 38. Arise up and stand. Behold the number of those that sh that be sealed in the feast of the Lord, which are departed from the shadow of the world and have received glorious garments of the Lord. Take thou number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. The number of thou children whom thou longest for is fulfilled beseech the power beseech the power of the lord that thou people which have been called from the beginning may be hollowed so this is about the elect man all right the elect today will rehearse the righteous acts they will do what the lord told them to do they will sacrifice their liberty gave up this world to abide under the shadow of the almighty all right and they're going to be hollowed which have been called from the beginning may be hollowed. So these chosen, these elect, starting with the 144, were chosen from the very, very beginning. You know, being the Alahayims, the powers, all right, with, with Yahweh Shai. All right, verse 42. I, Edris, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man, of a high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and was more exhorted, which I marveled at greatly. And notice Edris said that, you know, uh, you know, which we know that we're gonna read, this is Yahweh Shai, but he called Yahweh Shai a young man. So can you imagine what Yahweh Shai looked like? You know, he looked at like a young man. All right, with that, with that newly, newly face, that newly, newly body. Okay, it says in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and was more exhorted, which I marvelled at greatly. So I answered, so I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He, a he answered and said unto me, These are they that have put off the mortal clothing and have put on immortality. Excuse me, and have put on immortal. It says, And have confessed the name of Yahweh. Now are they crowned and receive psalms. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them psalms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world. They began, I gr then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. You see? So in all reality, we ain't got nothing to worry about. For the brothers who've been out teaching and pushing this truth in season, out of season, standing stiffly for the name of the Lord, being defenders of the gospel. All we got to just play out is what the Lord is going to put before us 
and continue to bank on our faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because the Lord is very merciful and he's not uh, going to forsake his elect, man. These scriptures are here for a reason. Scriptures say comfort one another with these words. So it says, Then began I greatly to commend them that stood stiffly for the name of the Lord. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thou power thou hast seen. And this was a vision that Ezra seen. He saw the elect sealed. He saw the calamities and destruction that came here. Even Ezra himself got shook and said, Woe is me, woe is me. All right. But he also saw the outcome, all right, with the elect being delivered, being crowned by Yahweh Shai. You know, he called Yahweh Shai a young man because he looked like a young man. So imagine how the brothers are going to look, you know. So I hope this lesson was edifying. Like I said, wanted to make it short. It probably wasn't too short because I read to the end. Wasn't really expecting to read the whole chapter to the end. But mainly uh, Second Edges 2, 27 to 29, because that was the point. It's a scripture the brother sent me earlier. This is a beautiful scripture to comfort you, you know. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak Hodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.